Hey, it's time for another Everyday Getaway. Everyday Getaway, and today we're getting away to Animal Kingdom Lodge, and we're here at Sanaa for lunch. Uh, I've been so looking forward to this, especially the bread service, but everything on the menu looks great. All right, so we're getting ready to go. It's actually lunch, not breakfast, um, but I wanted to show you these little guys back here under the trees, and uh, I don't know, at one point I thought I'd copy, but that's not what they are. We'll have to figure out what they are. And then Longhorns here, but this is such a beautiful place. And look at these great chairs. You imagine just sitting on these in the morning, having some coffee, and uh, then being able to turn around and, and see all of uh, these animals and just watch them. This is really a beautiful resort. Come join us for lunch. And we'll see what uh, that bread service is like and what else they have to offer. Come on, let's go eat. A reminder on Disney property, when you're inside, you have to wear a mask at all times. Let's go. Got it on and let's go. Come on. This must be a wrong elevator. Oh. oh, we're going up now. Okay, you have to go to the south elevators and then select one to go down to the restaurant. We were just in the other ones and they would not allow access down there. There are also extra bathrooms on the first floor. On the second floor, there's only one male and one female bathroom. So here we are, Sanaa right there, coming into the elevators and selecting one for Sanaa. Right when you come off the elevators, you just go a couple steps and there's a hostess station. We checked in and uh, they had already texted us, so they were ready for us and uh, they started seeking us. So you can scan to get your dining selections. So your menu here, you just take a picture of the QR code and then the little thing comes up on the top, you click on it, it takes you to that place and then you can see it. So, um, Bryce will scroll a little bit there so you can see. They've got a limited menu right now, I'm assuming because of COVID. Appetizers. Soups, salads, and then entrees. I think I'm going for tandoori chicken. But what I'm looking most forward to is the dessert. Uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to this <laughs> chocolate mousse and the, the bread service. So we'll let you, once we get out here, we'll let you see what it's like. Everywhere you look, the place is just themed beautifully, and there are giant floor to ceiling windows that are close enough by, so no matter where you sit, you can get a look. All right, got two people missing. The famous bread service at Sanaa that everyone talks about. You've got your sweet sauces over to your mild and to your spicy. There's three or four different types of bread here. Five, five different types of bread here. All Regular, different. garlic, paneer, lots of different options. Oh, uh, we're excited. All right, so let's give it a shot. All right, so far the naan is delicious and I really like the mango chutney. I like this lime jalapeno-y thing. I like the green one. 
The green one? Yeah, it's that lime jalapeno. Is that your favorite so far? What do you think, Corbin? My favorite one's the, not the spiciest one, but the one before that. Well, the, that one does have a lot of flavor. flavor. And they're not, it's not just spicy. It's got a lot of good actual flavor. And Doug, he's enjoying the tzatziki sauce. That's his favorite so far. The naan's really good. bottom chicken um, some tzatziki sauce I think that's arugula tomatoes and maybe something pickled here on the top it's delicious onions. pickled onions pickled onions that would get the snobber what it's got it's got uh, goat cheese goat cheese on it and some kind of sauce that looks good and chips and chips house made chips So we're finishing up lunch, and the tandoori chicken I thought was, was really good. It does have a kick to it. I think everything here has a kick to it, so if you don't like spicy food, maybe this African, Indian, and infused might not be your favorite, but honestly, the, the tandoori chicken was really good. They love the burger. What do you think? Oh, the burger's excellent. Cooked cheese, very creamy. I like to put all the sauces in there and play with those. What do you think? The burger was really good. I really enjoyed it. And, uh, I just love sitting here watching the animals while you eat. I think it's a really fun atmosphere. I don't know if you can Different. see the bird over his left shoulder who's kind of taking a bath, I think. But, oh, there he is. It's like lunch and a show. There you go. And then we got some giraffes and other things over here. I don't know if you can see the giraffes way over there peeking out, but they're there. So I've been waiting to try this moose. It's a three chocolate mousse, and I will insert in just a moment what the three chocolates are. Oh, we I'm got it. them right now. Okay, we got them. Hold on. Okay, so starts off starts off with a chocolate almond biscuit. Then it has Orel's blonde chocolate, Tanari milk chocolate from Madagascar, and NYNG Bo dark chocolate from Ghana, accompanied with some strawberries. Shot. Let's pass out some spoons here. Now Doug doesn't like chocolate, so he's not gonna taste any of this. We've got extra spoons, so it's pretty good. The spoons have large box. Alright. The spoon has large box. <laughs> All those layers there. Alright, so I had a bite. I will say it's not my favorite dessert. I, I think the hype of having it was more than what I actually felt about it. I like it, but I will say it reminds me of like, if you ever had a dessert on a cruise ship, it's a cruise ship dessert for sure. Strawberries are good. Strawberries are good. Strawberries are good. Dad, you like strawberries. And I'm not really sure what it, there's some taste in it that I, it's not my favorite. And I am a chocolate person. I really love chocolate. So there's something in here that's off-putting. Kind of like chocolate milk that's been in your fridge for a while. <laughs> well, it wasn't my favorite dessert, but the guys liked it. We can tell because it's all gone. The strawberries, I thought, were the best part. Um, I like the crumb. Like the crumb coating or the crumb stuff in the middle. Expert food reviewer. Right <laughs> the crumbs were good. What are they? Some kind of cookie crummy things. No. We had a great lunch, and before we leave, we'll let you look out the windows that are right across from where we sat. There are tables next to these windows. We didn't have one, but where we sat, it was a great view just um, of all the, uh, the field out there and whatever animals were there. And after we leave, we'll take you over to Animal Kingdom Lodge for We chose to have lunch at Sanaa just because the prices were considerably less, but portion size was more than enough. As a matter of fact, we had a lot left over and we really enjoyed our lunch. <laughs> I, I bet it would. Some zebras back there, got a longhorn. And the animals we were trying to tell you about earlier are elands cast member helped us out with that. Lots of zebras out right now. These birds are after each other. So there's a giraffe up under the tree.
tree. I don't know if you can see him from here. I'll try to get you a better shot, but he's just chilling. He's got a buddy over here. Maybe we can get that one. Get the zebras? Yeah, we got some zebras. We got some longhorns. Yep. Back to that giraffe, he's in the tree. Probably shading himself, I guess. It's pretty hot. Oh, he's gonna bend down and eat some grass. Now all of these thatched roofs were done by actual African architecture architecturists. That's really cool. Look at that. It's so high up there. This really is a beautiful property. I love that background, that's beautiful. Oh, he's in the shade. There's a tortoise in there. He's hiding in the shade. I like how these lights are drums. These are talking drums. And when they play these, they, it goes under their arm and they squeeze it together and it changes the pitch of the drum when it's been struck. Oh, that's cool. Since we're not staying in Animal Kingdom Lodge, but we did have dining reservations at Sanaa, you can park here for free while you go to lunch. So uh, just keep in mind, if you have dinner reservations, you can come in and park at no charge. But you have to have those reservations. And you just tell them when you come in the gate. Till next time. Join us as we come check out the Jamba House at Animal Kingdom's Lodge. This is the main house. Before we anything else to share? Nope. <laughs> This is the main entrance at Animal Kingdom Lodge. This place is absolutely gorgeous. I'd love to see it at Christmas time. It's so beautiful. Uh, Check-in station over to the left. Look at the animals on the, the banister or the railing there. Lots of artifacts and really cool things. It's a beautiful tapestry. It's a, a garden back there. Must lead to the animals. A little bit of a water basin there. Just coming out on the little terrace balcony area that's off of the lodge itself. More rocking chairs just to enjoy. So you can sit again and watch the animals. I we love this. A wild giraffe off the distance. He's munching on some leaves. Okay. I don't see him yet. <laughs> oh, there he is. Can you see him? He is munching on the leaves. I love that little courtyard area. I take it they do some fire pit action at night. This is beautiful. This is a, a dream. I want to stay here one day. What do you guys think? Welcome home. There they are crossing up on that bridge. This is such a beautiful place. This is definitely a bucket list place for Doug and me. And uh, we look forward to one day coming back and staying here. These light fixtures are amazing. And then, theming wise, these light slash speaker covers that go up from floor to floor look like those giant um, 
musical horns maybe corbin what are those the brown things are they drums or horns spears no there oh i don't think that's anything i think it's just wood. yeah so these little circles in the floor uh, during the day children can bring paper out and uh, take pencil and sketch over them so they make like a an etching that's pretty cool there's several of them on the floor and uh, that's just fun i think animal kingdom lodge look good on us what do you think we had a great time touring animal kingdom lodge we hope you enjoyed just that quick glimpse of that we really do want to stay there sometime but for now it's time for us to head out and uh, we will uh, hopefully be back very soon and this time get a chance to stay there Hey, thanks for joining us today at Sanaa. We had a great lunch. Uh, the tandoori chicken was delicious. Uh, we had tons of leftover. Uh, best part, I think, of the meal was the bread service. It was absolutely delicious. Uh, Love the naan and all the different uh, sauces. It was great trying them all. Uh, probably the least favorite of the day was the dessert. It was not my, my taste, um, but I Overall, had a beautiful experience and outside, absolutely love seeing the animals, being able to watch them while you're eating, and then just to be able to go outside and uh, get a close-up look, it was wonderful. So thanks for joining us today. Take care of yourself, take care of others, and we'll see you soon as we go on another adventure. Bye. Jumbo! Jumbo! Ah.